Hello everyone and welcome to Craft Club. This is week one and the theme is bunnies and the story for this week is I want my hat back. It's got a cheeky bunny rabbit in the story. If you don't want to listen again you can always skip this part. I want my hat back. My hat is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. OK, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. OK, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. OK, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I've been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. I miss it so much. What's the matter? Oh, I've lost my hat and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It is red and pointy and... I have seen my hat. You, you stole my hat. I love my hat. Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. OK, thank you anyway. OK, so now I'm going to take a look and see what's inside the craft pack this week. Now, because this is week one, this is like your starter pack. So you've got some of your basic materials which you will need for the next few weeks. So scissors, glue stick, pencil sharpener, pencil, colouring pencils. You've also got some stickers there. You can use to decorate things, tape. And then on this side, you've got your activities for the week. Now, we have lots of children taking part, some as young as three, uh, going all the way up to age 11. So there's a range of activities. Some are quite simple, most are quite simple and straightforward, other ones are a bit more challenging. So for example, you'll notice that you've got two different colouring sheets. One has just a simple outline which you can colour or decorate however you like. And the other one has a lot more detail and you can really take your time and fill in all the detail. Or you can choose, choose to maybe use just one or two colours and it will still look beautiful. You may also notice that some of you will have a big rolled up piece of paper. This is for the infants to have a go at making a hat. So I'm going to demonstrate that later. And some of you have got some squares of paper like this. And this is for the junior children to have a go at doing some origami. Uh, now, if you have a brother or a sister and one of you is in the infants and the other is the juniors, then you will have both of those options. So I'm going to start with the cutout bunny. It's a really simple activity. You can either use this bunny as a template to draw around onto a piece of paper. And you can see I've decorated mine and stuck a pom-pom on and someone has helped 
hopefully added a little scribble, possibly my daughter, but lovely. Or you can actually decorate the bunny itself. So I'm going to just give it an eye. And then I think this bit here is actually its back leg. So I'm going to just fill in a little bit of detail, but you can do this however you want. Looks a bit more like a back leg. You can give it some fur, you can cover it in a pattern, up to you. And then I'm going to just stick on a tail. So with this, you've got to rub it on your glue stick quite hard. And there you go. Okay, so the next activity is a three-dimensional bunny. And I don't know if you can see that. There's two shapes drawn on this piece of cardboard. The cardboard is folded in half. So we are going to start by cutting out the shapes. You'll notice that they're quite close together. So it's a little bit fiddly, but I'm going to make it easier for myself by starting by just cutting it like that. So I've separated the two shapes. Now I'm going to cut them out. Right, so I've got my two shapes, I've got my body and I've got my head and the first thing I'm going to do is stick the head to the body. So I'm going to pop a little bit of glue in the right, this end's the tail. So on this end I'm going to pop some glue. Do a little bit on the other side. I'm going to open up the head. And I'm going to stick it on, press it down, nice and firm. And then these two bits at the bottom are going to help you make the body part. They're just going to curl around. Hold on, turn this around a moment to show you. And I'm going to stick them together. Got a piece of tape handy already. So I've stuck it together and now your bunny should stand up. Now if you want to, you can decorate your bunny. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make your hat. If you've got one of these, you'll notice that there's a fold down one side of the paper. So I'm going to turn it over pop it on the table with the fold face down and now I'm going to decorate my hat it's much easier to do it when it's flat so you can take your time over this but I'm just going to use my stickers to do this very quickly now you don't have to use your stickers you could draw a picture a pattern whatever you like uh, now I'm going to show you how to assemble the hat. So I'm going to turn it back over and along the folded over strip, I'm going to put some glue. Now I'm going to take this edge and stick it down along that strip, press down nice and firm and then open it up and there's your hat. Okay so I'm just going to very quickly explain this one, you might have noticed in your pack you've got a piece of card, it may not be orange, it could be a different colour and there's a message on the back of it and the message says 
Here is your part of our rainbow. Decorate the other side in your own way and return next week when we receive your next craft pack. And there's a space there to write your name as well. So what I would like you to do is just make this side beautiful and then I'm gonna have it back next week and it's going to form a giant rainbow uh, with all the other children's pieces of card uh, to look a little bit like this lovely big rainbow behind me. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do the origami. So you'll need a square of paper just like this. And if you didn't get one in your craft pack but you'd still like to have a go, any square of paper will do. And um, we're gonna start by folding this edge up to meet this corner up to meet the opposite corner so you get a triangle then you get open it back up and then I'm going to fold these two corners in towards the middle Making it nice and neat so it looks like that. Then I'm going to take this bottom corner and fold it up. Okay, right, the next bit I want you to fold this back down. So you've got a triangle pointing downwards there. You see where I've made that fold? That's gonna be the bunny's tail. Now you're going to create the bunny's ears by using a pair of scissors. Now the longer the cuts, the longer the ears, but I'm gonna make mine about that long. See I've done the cut there. Okay, next I'm going to fold that shape in half. And it should stand up like that. You can see the little tail poking out. And then finally, I'm going to fold the ears up. On that side, turn it over. And there you've got a little baby bunny. Now if you want to see these instructions again, then I've sent a file to your grown-ups, which they can open on the computer, and you can look at it that way. There's also, if you fancy a real challenge, another kind of bunny that you can make called an origami puffy bunny. Now here are my lovely creations. I've been very busy, I hope you have too. Uh, now if you'd like to share any of your creations that you've made, uh, perhaps you could bring them to the next Zoom session and we can have a little show and tell at the end of the session. So I look forward to seeing you then, bye.